Hey, Kiki here and welcome to my channel. I hope everyone is having a lovely day and is doing well. And today we are going to begin playing Dragon Age 2. So we've officially finished um, Dragon Age Origins and we're moving and Awakening and um, Golovs of Amarok and Witch Hunt and we're moving straight to Dragon Age 2. I'm very excited. I, oh, I don't know. I just, I'm quite excited. Um, but you know guys the usual no spoilers obviously you can give me some tips and like you know let me know if i'm doing something wrong because i normally am and yeah i'm just i'm very excited um yeah that's basically it so on that note guys let's get into it oh okay Oh, so we can only be one person. Interesting. I know one of you guys told me in, um, I think Origins, they told me that basically I can change their appearance, but I'm guessing we're just going to be humans. So as I said last time, I'm going to be a mage. Um, mages command arcane spells and hurl bolts of magic from their staffs. Despite their immense power, mages are vulnerable when allies fall or whenever enemy troops attack them directly. Okay, so yeah, I want to be a mage. I was a mage in my last playthrough, so I feel like... <laughs> I feel like we should just continue being mages. So, yeah, where's, where's my mouse? Where's my mouse gone? What is happening? Okay. Oh my god, my mouse has vanished. Okay, well, we're just going to accept it let's go for it oh oh my god guys i'm actually so excited who's he oh god is he gonna be a friend is he being interrogated? Do we have to save him? There's so many questions. I've had gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentagust, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. The champion? Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. Time to start talking, dwarf. Damn. They tell me you're good at it. Oh my god, I thought she stabbed him in the leg. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. Okay. Oh wait, are these dogs spawn? Oh, they look really different from the first. Oh. Oh wow. Okay, straight into it, I guess. Oh my God. Scouts. We will have to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Oh my god, wait! That's me! Why my character is speaking? Okay, my mouse has actually vanished, so this is a problem. Oh no, it's back! Oh my god, okay, I was gonna say, what a start to the game. Okay, so combat pause. Um Okay, we're going straight for it. Oh whoa, it's a lot faster than than the last one. Okay. Oh wait, I can do that one, okay. Why is it not clear? Oh, whoa, oh, oh, I'm getting surrounded. Run over there! Ooh. Oh my god, what the hell is happening? This is so intense. We can't keep this up forever. 
Um, I'm right beside you. Neither can they. Then we fight. Or should I be? Should I be strong? Then we fight. And we'll take the bastards down with us. Oh, okay. So my character Neither actually does come. talk. Interesting. Shall I give them a taste of my blade? Do it. All yours, brother. <laughs> oh, okay. So he's my brother. Cool. Oh my god, this is actually crazy, guys. This is wild. Oh my. Oh, okay. So I've got more on my tab bar now. Interesting. This is wild. What is happening? Oh, okay. That's cool. What's this one? Crushing prison. Um, the mage traps a target in the collapsing cage. Should I try it? Oh, oh my god, this is actually wild. What is going on? Guys, I'm actually... I'm, I think I'm kind of like... My brain, I can't... I kind of want to try this. Oh. oh my goodness. This is actually, this is crazy. Oh. <laughs> okay. What? Oh my God, it's an ogre. Whoa, guys, the ogres look so different. They look really cool. <laughs> I'm nervous. Should we? Oh, whoa. Okay, wait, let's do this. Okay, he's a bit too close to me. Let's run away a little bit. Oh, uh, huh. Let me get rid of these. Oh, hello. No, no, I'm good, thanks. There's no end to them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. A, dra a dragon? Oh my god. Is it the archdemon? Bullshit. That's not what really happened. <laughs> Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? <gasps> I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. Well, what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew her even before she became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where she is now. Oh, so Do I'm you have the champion. Any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantries fall into pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. What? And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to her, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. Okay. You'll need to hear the whole story. So is he going to be telling the story as we're doing it? Oh, guys, I love this. This is so good. What a bloody start to the game. Oh, my goodness. Okay, let's just take a minute. That was so good. Like the... the okay, so I have it on normal like I did with Origins. And the battle is a lot more fast-paced. Luckily, I can still pause. I like that. I like that because... <laughs> oh, my God. That's just so good. Oh my goodness. My brain right now is just... Damn. Okay, so my last name's Hawk. I'm actually speechless. I actually had goosebumps when I was playing that. That was actually crazy. So the dwarf is telling our story. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, well, I'm gonna... I'm gonna make the character... Um, so we can have oh wow whoa very different appearances interesting she's kind of cute 
She's kind of cute, isn't she? I mean, the hair needs to change. <laughs> I'm gonna be real with you. But she's kind of cute. I like her face and her face is quite cute. I like her face as well. I can't, do you know what though? I do like this one. I like this one. I was gonna just make the character myself, but you know what? You guys can, all the music. Always, always love some Dragon Age music. But I know some of you don't like watching the um, customization. So I'll put a little time on the bar because it might take me a while. <laughs> skin, okay, skin complexion. Okay, oh wow, so old and ragged, youthful. I kinda, I kinda like, I don't know. The sound effects for moving the bar is very uncomfortable. I'll keep it there, skin tone, so I'm quite dark. I kind of, do you know what? I think I might do a darker tone for this one. Blush, she doesn't need any blush. Blunts intensity. I mean, well, she doesn't have any blush, so it's not really gonna do anything. Lip color, oh, whoa. That is, oof, that is not it. Before she goes to war, she's like, mm, let me just put my lip gloss on. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, I'll keep it that. Lip intensity. We need to make sure that <laughs> the lip isn't like sticking out again because with my character, Alara, the lip was sticking out intensely. Um, also... intensity i don't really feel like she needs really any makeup oh tattoos oh wow see i don't really normally do tattoos on my character but that's kind of cool i like that one that's kind of cool too but i kind of like having just a bare bare face i like that i think that's i think we're good with that Okay, hair, ooh. Should we have her bald, guys? Oh, I like that one. Out the face, so she can see what she's doing. Up in a bun, okay. What's this one? Hmm. That's the hair I had last time. Should I have messy hair? I kind of like this one, you know? Like it is kind of still in her face a little bit, but it's kind of... I don't know. Oh my God, this is gonna take me a while. I like that one too. I like the messy hair. I feel like she's a warrior. She just kind of scoops her hair up. She doesn't have time to spend seven hours doing her hair in the morning. I like that one. It's out the hair. I don't know. I uh, guys, I'm so torn. Do you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with my OG. I like that one. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay. Hair colour. Um I think I'll stick with the black. Eyebrows. Oh, that one's neat. I like that one. Um Okay. Eyes. I like her eyes, but I feel like maybe we should change the color. Ooh, should we go with like a green? I love green eyes. I think I kind of want to keep her eyes like that. I like it. But just, just for curious reasons. No, I like that. Um, bra height, I'm happy with that. Maybe actually. A little bit lower, yeah, that's good. Noise. She had that one, I think. I 
Her nose is cute. We'll keep that. Mouth. Okay. Lip size. I'm not touching the ovi underbite because I literally, last time the bottom of her lip was like sticking out. My last character in um, Alara, her name was, and her lip was sticking out and I didn't notice it until like the third episode. And I was like, no, I can't change it now. But I like her. She looks so cute. She's, I feel like, I feel like she's fine. I feel like she's... Maybe Aka is just a little bit smaller, a little petite. Neck thickness. Uh, probably there. Otherwise her head looks, her neck would look a bit weird, wouldn't it? I think, I think she's done. That actually was quite quick, I think. I think I did that quite quick. Okay, so the portrait. Oh, okay, so that's how I'll be looking. I think that's perfect, really. I don't really need to change that. Okay, so <laughs> I know... Okay, but I, 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 I'm thinking of calling her Ayla. I know my last character was called Elara, but I, I like the name Ayla, so I'm thinking... Ayla. Ayla Hawk. I think that's a nice name. Ooh, events from Dragon Age Origins. Okay import yes okay so let's just see what it has to say so it'll be this one wouldn't it should i select how do i how do i see what it has to say yeah it'll be that one it was this one. An unknown corruption. Open. Drag. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me just look at the plot summary. Okay, so Connor was freed from the demon. And mages were recruited into the army. Dalish elves were recruited into the army. Balin rules Orzammar. The Anvil of the Void was destroyed. Loghain was killed. And Nora's queen of Felderan. Alice performed the dark ritual with morrigan the warden killed the archdemon vigil's keep was saved from the darkspawn assault um the architect is alive warden's keep was re reclaimed shale was discovered king kaelin's corpse was burned okay yes okay so that is the one. Oh my god i'm so happy we can import it okay so i think we're gonna start the game what do you guys think of ayla doesn't she look cute she, i like it looks like she's got like some white hairs and i kind of like that any excuse for me to make my character have white hair i know this i, I looked at the white hair on ayla and i feel like it looked a bit weird so let's start the game here is a ayla hawk i'm just gonna leave it on normal The blight had been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Caelan died on the field with his men, yeah. betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the horde marched on the village of Lothering. Oh yeah, Lothran was the destroyed. Burned, mm. And many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. Oh! Oh! Okay, so is this alongside the same time? Oh, my family changed as well. Cool. Damn. Ooh. Oh, this is so cool. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. Okay, so this is probably... I mean, I think it's cool at the same time. But, like, I liked the fact that when i read what i was saying that it was exactly what she was saying and now it's more so you have like three options 
We have like the, oh, we're wasting time, like I'm hardcore. We have the, look on the bright side, ha 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 ha, I'm a jokester. And we have the, I'm sorry, mother, because I'm a good innocent bean, you know? So I feel like I'm gonna say, should we be, should we be, I don't know if we should be a jokester or if we should actually be serious. I feel like we'll say, you know, I'm sorry, mother. She, they built, they built a home here and now it's being destroyed. I know how much Lothering meant to you, but we have to move. I like my voice. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at me? I've been running since Ostagar. Hmm. I'll say, speaking of running... Not to interrupt. We better keep not going. going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please, listen to your sister. Am well, I the eldest? Go. Yeah, Lead that's on. right. Listen to me. Yeah, follow the leader. Oh! Oh, we have a... We have a dog! Okay, so is that um, Bean 2.0? Okay, so here's the family. We've got Carver, Bethany, dog and mother. Why does my dog have a name? Oh. I don't know what that is. Okay, the destruction of Lothering. Find a way past the Darkspawn Horde. So, sorry, just before journal let me see so that was my journal my inventory okay equip new weapons armor and accessories for each of your party members move items to the junk category oh i didn't read all of it oh well well you know we get the gist of it so at the minute we have nothing oh, okay so we've got health lyrium and stamina so we have stamina potions as well okay so that is my sister bethany her armor is cool we like it and we have carver okay so so what is Car so carver is a warrior and me and my sister are mages wait so we're apostate then aren't we technically because well we didn't go to the tower oh, interesting okay we got the map I'm guessing let's let's go. Are we just gonna stand around, family? Okay, let's go, family. It's about time. Oh, okay. You're flying. Oh, there's some over there as well. Oh, great. Mum's just over there hiding in a corner. I feel like I shouldn't get too close to them. But they are running after me. What's this? Mind blast. Oh, that's good. Oh, whoa. My guy got thrown. Oh, okay. So, codex updated. Um, one of your characters has gained a level. Press um, exit and select level up to choose new abilities. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool nice okay so i got attributes abilities okay so we got elements primal entry um what does i say spirit and creation what is this hawk okay that's me so where is hmm. should i do heal because i feel like i feel like he was going to be a uh, important factor obviously i want to do fireball you guys know me and fireball i'm very obsessed but i feel like heal would be important so the mage imputes um an ally with restorative energy yes we'll do that one so obviously we're going to do my magic too and i feel like willpower as well tactics oh mine's aggressive really oh no we don't want that i'm sorry i'm gonna be ranged <laughs> i'm not being aggressive so it makes more sense for a warrior to be aggressive oh my god you're aggressive as well why is everyone so aggressive oh you're a fireball i'm jealous the characters okay so we're friendly oh wait we're rivals why are we rivals you're my brother don't you don't you love me or maybe you're jealous that i'm the leader of the family that is that is a pose right there okay so
Okay, is there anything over there? No? Let's keep going! Guys, I'm actually so excited. What is this? Okay, yeah, so I, I don't know what all of this is. Premium content. Should I just mark all of them as red? They're all pre it's all premium content, so let me just mark all as red so the next. I don't know why it's still there. We're kind of focusing on the main plot. Okay, well, it's just going to stay there then, I guess. I'm not, you know, whatever. We'll, we'll leave it. The destruction of Lothering. Wait, where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn, where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. Hmm. Um. We have to stay together. Wherever we go, what's important is that we don't separate. We can go to Kirkwall. What? Kirkwall. Why would we go there? That sounds familiar. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that. But we still have family there. And an estate. <sighs> Are we rich? Then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Oh, I'm ah! going to enjoy this. Oh! Mad! Okay, who are you? So much is happening. Oh, uh, look at- Ooh! Ouch. The dark spawn looks so cool, I must say. You will not have him. Damn. My girl hardcore. Look at her saving her man. Have you? My God, respect. <laughs> not while I breathe. I like her. Are we going to be friends? Hello. Okay, so I love how we have a dog. I'm guessing... Is that... Oh, okay, summon Mabari. Okay. Mabari, I can't speak. Okay, so that is our dog. Nice. Hey there. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Well, the Maker has a sense of humor. Huh. Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The order dictates. Mate, you're bleeding out. Wesley. Be quiet. You need us. The order dictates. Oh, look at my cat. Oh, go on, Ayla. They saved us. The maker understands. Of course. You're bleeding out anyway. You I have no Belen. say. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. Hmm. I say he's gentle for a mage hunter. The wrath of the Templars is terrible indeed. More so their wives. But as long as there is a greater danger, you and I have an accord. Thank right. you, Wesley. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. I'm not running straight into the horde. We go south. Come on, Ayla. What a leader. I'm sorry. I actually love her. I, you know, it's kind of warming. It's, you know what? I'm warming up to the fact that um, she's they're talking for me. Okay, codex updated. Ah, okay. Oh, oh, oh my, oh my, oh my God. That is so much. <clears throat> So, an honest answer regarding apostates. A maid who does not receive the, te um, the teachings of the circle and who does not have the words of Andraste in her heart is an apostate and a danger to us all. Without the guidance of the holy chantry, a maid may foolishly dabble in the dark arts of blood magic. Oh, here we go with blood magic. Not all of us are evil or demon summoning, thus becoming a, ma a maleficarum. And a mage's mind will, e will ever be a... Do Oh my god, let's calm down. I'm too excited. 
Okay, a mage's mind will ever be a doorway to spirits for the Fade. Without proper um, instructions, this doorway remains open and, uns oh, and unsecure. Yeah, okay. All right, but the thing is, I'm guessing there's mages in our family because me and my sister are both mages. So surely we would have trained and like kind of figured out how to, you know, close that door. Um, if a demon should come through this doorway, a, pa a possesses and possesses a mage, an abomination is created. Abom abominations know only madness. They cannot be reasoned with and will slaughter man, woman and ch child without thought. Whole cities have fallen to these creatures. Thousands have died at their hands. Um, the Chantry and her Templar have a duty to ensure that this does not happen. Um, if I knew a better way to deal with magic, I would seize upon it immediately. You say we should let the mages guard themselves. I tell you that this is no solution. Look at the Tevinto Imperium. Yeah, okay, do you know what? I understand. I feel like they always just love to bring up the Imperium. Um, do you know what I mean? The Tevinto Imperium. I feel like they love to bring that up all the time. Constantly. L listen. Yeah, okay, some mages weren't good. But that doesn't define every single mage. Do you know what I mean? Like, not everyone is bad. Okay, so a group of them did some bad stuff. And now it's basically just done, like, a whole bad effect and, like, made all mages look bad. It's not, it's not, the, it's not the best thing. Um, the Magister does not know re restraint. Without Chantry oversight, the Magister abused their powers. Those without magic attemp attempted upon underfoot and forced to serve slaves are slaughtered by the hundreds of feet the magisters hunger for power um even some mages are not spared in the ma mages oh my god for in mages as in all humans there exists a spectrum on one end the ver um, the very powerful on the other end those that can barely light a candle. The Imperium cares only for the strongest and those who do not compare favorably are thrown to the walls. Imagine your children growing up in such a world. If a mage asked um, it of you, you would have given him your daughter, not knowing what his plans for her might be. You could not resist him and neither could she. Without the Templars and without the Circle, the common man would have no defense against magic. We must deny the mage certain freedoms for the common good. I wish there was another way. I tell the apprentices all um, this is a test of their faith. Um, that is that is the will of the maker. Many understand that we do have that we do what we have what, blah, 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 that we do what we have to for their own good. The thing is, I feel like from origins my character was a mage if you guys haven't watched it if you're just coming over now hi um i'll put it um the link in the description but to summarize my character was a mage in origins and we saw how mages were treated so you understand why they want to do like an uprising and they want to have their freedom because they say that you know they give them as much freedom as they can that's not exactly true they treat them really poorly so you understand why some mages turn bad because they're literally being treated poorly 20 they're literally locked in a tower like no wonder people go a bit insane so i don't really blame them but i feel like if they were given a little bit more respect then it wouldn't be so bad but they're not they're like, oh, because um, some mages in the past did some really awful things. Yes, all mages are bad, so all of you are going to be treated poorly. That's kind of what it's like. Like, I understand that Irving tried to do his best to look after the um, apprentices. But at the same time, he also had his hands tied to a certain degree. So, you know. I like how it's giving us, like, a little bit of a... A sum. I mean, I've literally just come from finishing Origins, so I basically know all this, but you know. Let's. Okay, the last blow um, was in the age of the tower. Was um, in the age of, of towers, striking once again at the heart of Chavinta, spreading south into a lace and east into the free marshes. The plague spread as far as Ferelden, but um, withering and twisting of the land stopped well beyond our borders. Here, Darkspawn have never been more than the stuff of legends. In the northern lands, however, particularly Tevinter and the 
Antifels, they say Darkspawn haunt and um, the hinterlands, preying on outlaying farmers and isolated villages, a constant threat. Oh, okay, so I can level you up. Let's do some more magic and maybe a little bit of willpower. Yes. So you've got this going for you. I'm jealous. Let's do that one as well. And let's do a little bit, I feel like some strength for you and maybe some constitution. So, oh, so you're a two-handed warrior. Okay, interesting. Let's do mighty blow, scathe. The warrior charges through enemy lines. Ooh, that sounds quite good. Let's do this one then. Okay, cool. <laughs> Look at him shaking. <laughs> Here they are. You'll see. Yeah, this is so much more fast paced. Let's finish this. No more. Oh, they're down here as well. Damn. This is so intense. So we're basically running for our lives. Oh, okay, quick potions. So where would they be? Okay, so we've got stamina. We don't have anything else. What are those down there? Codex updated. You have received a potion. To use a potion to replenish a party member health, stamina or mana, click the icon on the right side of the quick bar. Okay. Does this move freely? Unpause. We got the Mugabe. Um, what are those two though? I don't know. Oh, can I not do that? Don't tell me I just used that. That'll be awkward. No, I didn't. Now we see blood. This is actually so wild. I just, I really like it. It's very fast paced. Oh, I didn't see you behind me. Hello. Where's, where's your husband? Oh, oh, he's there. No, where is he? Oh, he's there. I can't believe we can't, we haven't named our dog. That actually kind of hurts my feelings. I kind of want to name him. I know we named our last one Bean, but I, oh, hello. Ooh, oh, let's get, let's get rid of you first. Oh no. Oh, I need to, I need to heal myself. Everyone's health's okay, that's fine. Oh, there's more. Hey there, guys. You should for me. Oh, 
Oh, I'm too close. Get away from me. That's right. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, Before they regroup, we must press towards the wilds. Okay. Aye, aye, Captain. I can level up, though. Oh, and so can... Oh, I did not... Do you know I didn't even realise she was in our party. <laughs> okay, so let me do... Do, 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 do. I feel like magic and willpower are going to be my main focuses, obviously. And where is it? Let me do some fireballs. It's about time. Okay, let's do your strength and constitution. Yes. What are you? So your weapons and shields. What have you started um vanguard okay battle master what's battle master bolster st um stealing full battle the warrior takes a deep breath and regains some stamina that sounds kind of interesting oh a guardian oh watchful eye Rooster's friends have put um evelyn on guard serve and protect interesting defender hmm. turn the blade while well, many warriors choose to endure their foes hit some prefer to deflect damage instead what's this one pommel pommel strike that one let's do that one Oh look, something I can't I don't think I can open. Do I guess I had to be a rogue. Rip. All right, team, let's go. Oh wait, this is where. Oh wait, oh I did not see that. My bad. That is why I always hold tap down, and apparently it didn't even help. The Kokari Wilds. Oh, okay, so it is said that in the midst of the Black Age, when werewolves strike the lands of Ferelden in numbers that kept every farmholder indoors, and a hound on every doorstep, a powerful Arl of the um, Alamari people stood and declared that he would put an end to the threat. His Arling stood at the border of the Dark Forest on the southern borders of Ferelden Valley, and he claimed that the werewolves used the forest to launch their mid midnight assault on humanity. For 20 years, the Arl led an army of warriors and hounds deep into the forest. In his hunt for the werewolves, he slew not only every wolf he came across, blah, 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 he came upon, but also many members of the Chastened Wilder Folk. Any one of them, he said, could harbour a demon inside and thus be a werewolf in disguise. For 20 years, the forest rung, um, rang with screams and the river ran red. The tales say that an old... Um, chastened woman found her sons all dead at the Isle's blade she pulled one of um, those very blades from the sun's heart and plunged it into her own chest cursing the Isle's name as she did as she did so oh my god this music's so loud um, where her blood touched the ground and mist began to rise it spread and spread until it was everywhere in the forest the Isle's army became lost and it is said that they died there others say the wonder still the ruins of his Arling stand to this day, filled with the ghosts of wo um, of women waiting eternally for their husband's return. Um, the forest is so much easier to read this. I like it when like it's a black background. It helps my eyes so much to read. So this is actually helping me so much. Um, the forest. Um, of the legend is, of course, the Kokari Wild. There are many legends about the Great Southern Forest, as there are shadows, and so they that. Blah, blah, blah. I said I was reading so well, and I just butchered it. Also, they're saying goes the chasing women, um, wilder folk have made their home there since mankind first came to these lands, and the wild lands spread as far into the southern, uh, as far into the south as anyone has ventured. Beyond the mists and the vast tracts of snow, white-capped mountains, and entire fields of ice, it is the land too cold for mankind to survive. Yet the chasing eek um, out an existence even there and they tell the horrors um, beyond the wild 
that the low the lowland folk could not begin to comprehend. To most, Ferelden suddenly ends with the Kakari Wild. There is nothing beyond. The wild is a land of great trees, west marshes, and dangerous monsters. What more needs to be said? Codex updated. I literally, yeah, I just, I literally, I just read that. Oh my goodness. Let me do you as well. Magic, maybe some more of that. Should I just do elemental for you then? Should we just go cr oh, spirit? What's this? Spirit bell. Oh, dispel magic. Oh, I can't. This is going to be so good. I'm so excited. Let's do that one. Let's do some more strength. Constitution. Hmm. Taunt. Maybe you should taunt. Maybe not there yet. Maybe giant reach the warrior's two-handed attacks rip through the air with such power that each um generates a shockwave past the point of impact sounds pretty good if you ask me nothing else here no but yeah this is where we were this is where me and carter were fighting in the intro i know we were white then um we were tanning so much that we turned brown <laughs> Oh look, there's another one. Baker, give me strength. Oh. Uh oh. She wasn't. Bethany. Guess I can't be too major to the family. Damn. That was so intense. I guess she wasn't in the. She wasn't in the intro with me and Carter. Oh my goodness. Okay, Ayla's younger sister, Bethany, died during the family flight um, from Lothering, leaving Ayla and leaving Ayla and Bethany's twin brother. Oh, Carver. As the only surviving children. Ayla like oh, oh. Ayla like Bethany um, was an apostate mage in hiding from the circle since childhood. Protecting Ayla and Bethany from the Templars became the most defining fact of the family's life, forcing them to move frequently and live well below their means. In small hamlets like Lothering, Bethany was close to her elder sibling and idolized Oh no! Oh, and revived the way Ayla embraced magic. But she could never give up her um what does it say? Resentment of being different and fear for what their future would hold. Oh no, Bethany! No! You need to go! After I literally just gave her powers. Oh, he's. I literally. Oh wow. He is. He is not happy. Damn! Oh, hello. Oh, I love how he gets thrown back. That is so cool. Oh. Okay, so we, we've nearly got him. We've nearly got him. Oh. Okay. Uh, let me... Let me do you. Ooh. Oh my god, I'm I need to heal myself. This is brutal. Damn. Oh mad, so Bethany's down. Oh god, is that Bethany? Wake up. The battle's over. We're fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your daughter is gone. No. These things will not take Bethany. That is so sad. She died bravely. Well, I mean, like, to be fair, she wasn't in the intro with me and Carver, so, you know. So, yeah, she died bravely. Bethany risked her life to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my daughter. How could you let her charge off like that? Oh, my 
poor You're the mother, do better. Don't blame me for your mistakes. If we stand here weeping, the Darkspawn will take the rest of us too. You tell our mother. Allow me to commend your daughter's soul to the Maker, mistress. You literally ashes wanted to throw us in prison earlier. Become. Maker, give this young woman a place at your side. That is sad, Let though. us take comfort in the peace she has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Bethany. All I'm gonna say is what a waste of perfectly good armor. I'm, jo I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. Um, okay. I say she won't be alone. At least father will have company now. Oh, there you go. Our father is, our father is up in the heavens with our sister. Flames, we're too late. Good. Oh, they're literally everywhere. Okay. Let me. I'll start these ones then. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Let's do a little cheeky mind blast. Oh, there's two more. There's oh. No end to them. Oh, it's literally the beginning all over again. Where's the dragon? There sh there. Haha. -ha. So is this dragon on our side? I can't tell. I guess we'll find out. This would be a very short game otherwise. The dragon just sets us on fire. Ooh, the dragon is helping us. Why? I thought it was the Archdemon, but now I'm not now I'm not too sure. Why would the Archdemon kill Yeah, it's not. Oh? Whoa! Whoa oh my god, look at the armor that she has! Do you see her dragging that dark spawn? She's so cool. She looks so. Oh, can well, I have your armor? Well, what have we here? Wait, that's. Isn't that? Guys, is that Flemeth? That's Flemeth's voice. It used to be we never got visitors to the wild. But Isn't now it? It seems they arrive in hordes. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Pause. Pause. Is that? I swear that's Flemeth's voice to say that the the. the the, the, the voice of Flemeth. Are we... Is that Flemeth? Has she had a makeover? Oh my gosh, she looks so cool if that is Flemeth. She... Flemeth turned into a dragon, so... My first... Honestly, my first assumption was that it was the Archdemon out to get us, but then I, then I thought, wait, it can't be, because I thought the... It was in the Deep Roads, if I remember correctly. But... Is that Flemeth? Ooh, if that's Flemeth, that is actually sick. She's basically had a little makeover before she comes out for battle. Because this is happening at the same time, isn't it? This is happening at the same time of Origins. Because Lothering is literally being destroyed right now. Like it was when after we left it. So basically, we're the problem. Sorry, um, Ayla. Alara caused this, you know. So I'll say nice trick. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, count yourself lucky. The smell of burning darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you Her hair! Oh my god! You should know you are heading in the wrong direction. So you're just going to leave us here? And why not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated and you are safe for the moment. Is that not enough? I want to be a dragon. Show me your ways. You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> I dare say it is. Such a clever tongue for a mage. Tell me, clever child. 
How do you intend to outrun the Blight? We're going to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. So far, simply to flee the Darkspawn. Um, we have family there. Our home is gone and we have nowhere else to go. I see. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. That's so Flemeth, it has to be. Is it fate or chance? She looks so cool though. She looks so cool. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. Give me your armor. I may be able to help you yet. Can I please just can I just have your armor? I just I love the hair. The hair is like the the, the horns on the dragon. She just said that, that honestly, what if this is Flemeth? I am like 97% sure it's Flemeth. Because she's the only other per well, she's the only one that we've seen chained into a dragon like first i thought archdemon but then she, the de, the dragon changed into a into her so it has to be flemeth right i'm right i'm right i know i'm right i'm 97 percent sure i'm right so hmm i say just like that there must be a catch <laughs> there is always a catch life is a catch i suggest you catch it while you can should we even trust her no. <laughs> we don't even know what she is. Yeah, well. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wild. I knew it! Some call me that. Also Flemeth. There we go. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> That's what Does Morgan calls her. <laughs> I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? Interesting. Oh, should I ask what the rest of you think? Should we trust her? Wesley is injured. We'll never escape the dark spawn. If you need to, leave me behind. No. I said I would drag you out if I had to, and I meant it. Oh, Han, he's all. Look at him. He's tainted. He's tainted. He's not looking too hot. Let's investigate. Witch of the Wilds. I mean, we already know, but um, Ayla doesn't. So let's go for it. What is a Witch of the Wilds exactly? A chastened legend. Witches that steal children. Bah. As if I had nothing better to do. Then you're an apostate. Yes. We have so much in common. Okay. Um, why not go yourself? You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered. I have an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you're not without your own needs. Okay. Um, what will we be facing? How much trouble will this delivery be exactly? About as much trouble as my saving your lives not five minutes ago. Yeah, sorry, you just had to remind us that you saved our lives. Thank you for that. Um... I will say we need to know details. That's a lot to ask without telling us what this involves. It's nothing more dangerous than one so capable can handle. Okay, we'll accept your help. Or maybe, ooh. No, yeah, we'll, we'll accept your help. We don't have much choice. We never do. Mm. There is a clan of Dalish elves I love near it. the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Marathari. Do as what she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Okay. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. Yeah, he's not looking too hot. He <laughs> he needs to go. No, leave yeah. him alone. Mm, I'm sorry, hon. It, it, what it's has time. been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie. She's right, Avali. Look at him, man. I can feel the corruption inside me. Look at his eyes. Uh, what corruption? What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. 
Um, look at Ayla. Doesn't she look so cute? Because we all noticed that. Um, that sounds bad. <laughs> um, I'll say we have to help. There must be something we can do. Yeah, surely. The only cure I know of is to become a grey ward. He's already become corrupt, though, and hasn't he? he? died at Ostagar. Ah, not all of them. There we but go. The last are now beyond your reach. Yeah, we, we're probably in Redcliffe now, aren't we? Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. It's not that slow. Look at you. Uh, I'll say it's up to you. You know, it's her husband at the end of the day. We don't really know him. He's your husband, Evelyn. I can't decide his fate. Um. Oh, look at her. I'm sorry, hun. It feels like Be we both strong. had to lose something. My love. What are you gonna do through the armor? How strong is she? <laughs> Very apparently. Damn, my girl has muscles. Bye, dude. No blood to show for it. Where was the knife? Nowhere. It vanished into his armor. <laughs> Without an end, there can be no peace. Flemeth's hair is so cool. I'm sorry, it I actually can't get no over it. Easier. Your struggles have only just begun. What a transition. Flemeth. I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? I'm important. Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? Mm. No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. What did she mean by that? The witch kept her word and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold. Oh. Packed in with the fearful and the desperate. Um. That was and smelly. Then they saw it. Kirkwall. Uh. The city of chains. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. Oh wow, they don't- oh, they're hiding their faces. Are those supposed to be the slaves? That is so sad. I don't like those statues. Not one bit. Letting anyone into the city. Of course not. What? That can't be. It's true. Look at them all. Are we really surprised? Everyone's fleeing the blight. 
just as we are. And they would throw us all back to the wolves. Unbelievable. Yep. Of course they would. It's totally believable. I'm only surprised they let us dock. We need to find Gamlin. Our family has Gamlin. always been highly regarded in Kirkwall. He can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Oh, okay. Oh, well, she she likes us. Flemeth. We'll probably do some more... You know what? We'll do some breeding at the end of this episode. Can I talk to you? We need to find your uncle. So this is where Mother's from. Charming place. Wesley would have been horrified to see this. Yeah, it's... Uh, I don't... I don't like those statues. They make me feel very unco... Oh, there's so many. Oh, don't tell me there's, those statues are going to be everywhere. I don't like that. Do you have a ship? Something to get us out of Anywhere to explore? Hey there, guys. Let me stand in the middle. I love the way my character stands. What is it going to do? I don't know. We're going we're gonna to try and go inside. Just going to... Get back to the nope. crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. Hey, hey, hey now. No need to be so sussy. Um, okay, so what is this place? I heard someone call this fortress the Gallows. Is it a prison? Used to be. Back in the Imperial days. They kept slaves here until the rebellion. Now the Templars run it and use it to lock up their mages. Guess not much has changed. <laughs> oh, great. Lovely. I love that we're... You know what? It's like we're handing ourselves in. Like, please, please take me. I'm a mage. They look up mages. Are mages imprisoned here? Well, no more than anywhere else. It's a circle of magi now. Magic is to serve man, not rule him. And mages are better locked up where they don't hurt anyone. <sighs> God, I feel like you're gonna become a problem. Um, okay, so what will happen to us? Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. I don't like Some you of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. Okay, Knight Commander Meredith. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. So you answer to don't her. Don't know what would happen <laughs> if the Viscount went against something she wanted, but he's sure never taken that chance. Okay, so tell me who I need to talk to. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Captain Yord. Okay. Quest updated. Speak to Captain Yord in the gallows. Okay. The gates are shut. Not a good sign for a lot of people. No. I... Stop! Oh. Oh, wow. I really do not like this artwork here. It's very doom and gloom and depressing god i feel like we're gonna really like it here it's gonna be so much fun Tell me, how did your family escape lothering almost everyone who hadn't fled my older sister if she wasn't with us i don't think we'd be here <laughs> that's but right quite skilled as well main character I'm not my sister hell yeah i just built different okay i am Kirkwell literally sealed he cannot enter and well i'll just go around how can they turn us all away? Maybe they don't like you. Okay. Money. I can pay you. Oh. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. <laughs> then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We've paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. Hmm. Ooh, do I say this one? <coughs> I'll say it's a big city. Surely there's a bit of extra room for the pretty people. 
I find keeping my neck away from Knight Commander Meredith's blade far more attractive than any of you. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already. Trust me. We'll I mean, find some we do, ships though. to take you all back to Ferelden eventually. Until then, you stay here. I like how my feet are just disappearing into the ground. Um, I'll say... Who decides this? Surely there's someone higher up that we could persuade. The city's been closed by order of the Viscount and Knight Commander Meredith, whose fortress you're standing in. But as far as you're concerned, I'm in charge. Hmm. I'll say, wouldn't you rather we left? If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Mm -hmm. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Yeah, we're rich. Our family has an estate. We got money. A nobleman. The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. Damn, he's probably he spent our back, inheritance. I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You're going to let them through? Mm -hmm. I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days. Oof. They just got here. That's it. We've been traveling we're for two weeks. We're our way out of here. Men? Okay. Listen, we've been on a boat for two weeks, so your attitude needs to calm down a little bit. <laughs> oh wow, I'm right in the middle. Let's take a few steps back. Oh, hello. Where did you come from? Oh, I literally got shot with an arrow. No. Yeah. Unbelievable. Oh wow, you're drenched in blood. Captain, are you all right? I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? <laughs> Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. You're Look, welcome. I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. I just saved your life. I'll find your uncle and bring him here. All right, whatever. It's been three days. Oh! This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. I don't think so, And if so, he's man. not... Yeah. Don't look now, but I think that's our man. He doesn't look like a noble. Leandra! Damn, girl. The years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Hey, that's our mother. Don't be mean to her. Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband. Dead. I'd uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. The Blight man happened. Oh, Come Gamlin. On. We came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it. Drastic guide. She's with our oh, father. Make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Uh... Okay. Okay. <laughs> then help us get in. Should I be firm? We've literally been we've been travelling for two weeks, we've been hanging around for another three days. We're tired. There are other ways to get into a city. Sure. That worked real well for those soldiers we fought. I hate to agree, but there's a reason they housed us in an old prison. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the night commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. Okay. But what about the estate? Surely father left something when he died. It's gone, it's gone. Right, uh, about the estate. It's, um, gone. There you to go. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. <sighs> then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not 
too delicate about the company you keep. Okay. Hmm. I'll say... Oh, let's investigate. So there's no family fortune. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you speak to us nicer. Gamlin, how could you? You didn't sell those well, in I dirt. I expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Low Town. You'll see; it'll all work out. Okay, I don't, I, I don't trust you, Gamlin. Um, why don't we just leave? Do we need to stay in Kirkwall? Do we? Let's go to another city. This was my home. Oh, I can't right. believe they won't let me come back. Every city on the coast's been hip deep in Ferelden since the blight. You could try your luck further inland, I suppose, but it won't be easy. We're not putting Mother through that. We came here. We're staying here. All right, fine. You convinced me. We'll stay. All right, sounds like fun. Let's hear it, Uncle. What do you have in mind? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. Okay. For a year. What? A year? Jesus! It's the best I could do. How much? Trust how in debt are you? A bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. How in debt are you, Gamlin? Hmm. This is the best you could do. Like really? So you're selling us into indentured servitude? That's your idea. Think of it as having a job waiting for you in your new home. Uh huh. I guess it's only a year, right? What's I a managed year? to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. Alright, I'll talk to them. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. That's and because of me, you. I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. Join us. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I have no real option. Become Thank part you. of the family. Why not? You're part of the family now. Okay, so fine. Um, if I knew or Minran in the gallows courtyard. Okay. I don't like these statues. These statues are awful. My goodness. They are. I mean, those ones are okay. But like this one, literally reaching for help. You know, it's quite terrifying. Oh, okay. What's this? Kirkwall the gallows. Oh my god, that's so long. Okay, statue of torture slaves fill the Gallo courtyard. A ghastly uh, memento of Corco's history. 1500 years ago, Corco was the Tevinta Imperium's largest quarry. Quarry? Um, feeding the construction of the Imper Imperial Highway. The Imperium's hunger um, for expansion led to the legion of slaves forced into working the quarry. When the empire, when the empire's construction phase ended, Kirkwall slid naturally into its new role as the capital of the slave trade. Jesus, the gallows at its heart—that is awful. And um, the statues are not momentum, um, no, are not monuments um, to the suffering of slave. Okay, this music's so loud. Let me just. Where's the options? Uh, audio. The, the, the music is just so loud. Let me just put it down just a little bit. I literally can't even hear myself think. Uh, what? I hate, I hate, I hate it. I hate it. Wait, it will be my journal, won't it? <laughs> Please be in the journal. Please be in the journal. There we go. <laughs> I was actually about to throw hands then. Okay, so where was I? It's just the music's so loud, I can't even hear myself think. 
Um, okay, so the statues are not um, amended to the suffering of slaves. Every inch and angel angle of the courtyard was designed by the magistrates bent on breaking the spirit of newcomers. Executions here took place daily, sometimes hourly, and corpses were hung from gibbets throughout the yard. New slaves um, tugging in from the docks saw what awaited them. Jesus, this is awful. When Our Lady turned her armies against the Imperium, the slaves of Kirkwall re um, revolt revolted and claimed the city for themselves the gallows stood empty for 200 years not be um not to be reopened until the crowning of divine justinia the first um the gallows transformed the city again when the abandoned when the abandoned prison's tower became the home of kirkwall circle it's still not great it's not great here. Okay, so Kirkwall once lived the edge of the Tevinto Imperium and was home to nearly a million slaves stolen from elven lands or shipped from across the sea. All slaves fed the Imperium's unquenchable thirst for expansion. I don't like this. They worked in massive quarries and sorting f foundries that produced stone and steel for the em Empire. Um, the city complicated past is not easy to forget. History having earthmarked many corners of the stone city. A ship approaching the harbour spots the city names namesake, an imp imposing black wall. It is visible for miles and carved into the cliff side um, are pantheon of the vile guardians representing the old gods. Over the years, the Chantry has affected many of these profane centiles but it will take many more years to erase them all i mean i don't think you can ever erase them all um also carved into the cliff is a channel that permits ships into the city's interior flanking the channel are two massive bronze statues the twins of kirkwall the statues have a practical use kirkwall sits next to the narrow point of the waking sea and a massive chain net can be um erected between the statues and the lighthouse closing off the only narrow nav na navigable navigable lane um this strange hold on the sea traffic is jealously guarded by the ever-changing rules of the city um as the net trolls taxes tolls and exteriors in for the sea damn oh that's me should we read me as well? Okay, we didn't read this one. So we read about Flemeth and Bethany. So sadly, Bethany is no longer with us, but she's with our father. So I'm guessing our father also, our father is no more. Okay, so the daughter of Malcolm Hawk and Leander Amel. Amel has lived, um, no, Amel, Ayla. God, that was a struggle then. I forgot my own character's name. So Ayla lived in many places throughout Ferelden. Her father was a mage and his gifts were passed on to both Ayla and Bethany, Malcolm's younger daughter. Malcolm refused to submit himself to the Chantry rule. He kept his abilities a secret and taught his daughters to do the same. Therefore, the family was constantly on the move to avoid Templar hunters. Ten years ago, the family settled in the village of Lothering, building a home on the outskirts and making a life where they wouldn't, where they wouldn't forever be on the run. On. Though um, Leandra worried constantly that the Templars would one day catch up with them, Malcolm teaching, Malcolm's teachings um, were sufficient to keep them safe. He died three years ago, li um, leaving Ayla responsible for the welfare of her mother and younger siblings. When the blight began, um, Carver enlisted Wait, when the blight began, Carver enlisted in King Kaling's regiment. Oh, saying the horde spilling from the Kokari wilds meant their home would be quickly overrun in the Darkspawn. Um, if the Darkspawn were ever defeated, um, were ever not defeated immediately, Ayla remained in Lothering to safeguard the family. Carver appeared on the door on their doorstep, and um, almost a month later, exhausted and injured, King Kaling had um, been betrayed and slain at Ostagar, and the horde was. Um, advocating on lowering. Though Ayla and the others were making plans to leave, they fled their home before they were fully prepared, and it may also be too late. Damn, okay. So he, our brother, Carver, was at the Battle of Ostagar. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, well, we already know about these, so I don't feel like we need to read them. Like, it literally was 
we we were coming straight from origin so i don't really feel like we need to read them so we've got the characters okay so that is the reading um so where am i supposed to go so who's that that's me so what's down here then Ephemeral. Okay. Hello. Are you Ephemeral? You must be Gamlin's niece. Interesting. I don't know what he told you about us, but he certainly told us a great deal about you. Oh, did he know? Uh, how much exactly? Enough to pique our interest, provided you can justify your uncle's confidence. Okay, so let's investigate first. So you're a smuggler? I'd like to know more about what we'd be doing for you. I can be honest. We don't compete with the Thieves' Guild, but we keep our fingers in a lot of pots. That said, we're not killers or slavers. Anything short of that, however, is fair game. Do what you want, but this sounds fishy to me. Begging and taking your pick never went hand in hand. Uh, what else? Um... So you're offering a lot for us? I hear getting us into the city isn't cheap. If you're as good as your uncle claims... We're hoping you'll be worth it. After all, it's not every day we're offered an apostate services. Ah, oh, so you know I'm a mage. I didn't realize Gamlin had told you that. It's not much. like you can see my stuff. The or Templars in Kirkwall like to think they have all mages properly leashed, but when has that ever been true? We can keep them from taking notice while you're with us. Wouldn't be the first time. Um, how'd you know Gamlin? How did you get to be one of my uncle's contacts? Is that what he calls me? He owes us after that last big idea. Yeah, idea. I gathered as much. If you turn out, though, we'll consider things even. Okay, um, I'll do whatever it takes, sure. Tell me what you need done. There's a merchant named Cavril, friend of the Templars. So they let him set up his little shop here in the Gallows. We supplied him in return for a piece of the take, but now he won't pay up. We can't go near him without him screaming for the guard. Oh, but you okay. can. Get our money from him and you're in. Okay, so that's fine. Oh, what's this? Ah, oh, dilemma from, yeah, okay. That's Flemeth Steel. So the merchant, where is this merchant? Oh, the merchant's here. Hello. I've already told you, I can't give you any more for them. But that was everything we have. It's all we brought with us. And I feel for you, Sarah, but it's the best I can do. If they just let us into the city, I could get three times that price. <sighs> Myron. Don't be any mean to her. She's desperate. Your business is done. Oh, your eyes but... are scary. <sighs> oh, poor lady. If I could help, I would. But I'm also poor. <laughs> now then, what can I do for you, Sarah? Oh, should I just say she sent me? Or do I need to investigate? Yeah, what kind of shop is this? I didn't think there'd be any stores here in the fortress. There are many merchants who come here right now who can't afford the bribes to enter the city. So the Templars suggested having someone set up shop. Temporarily. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I am the lucky man. Lucky indeed. You mean you paid your own bribes to be here? If they allowed everyone to set up shop, this place would turn into a bazaar. Sadly, there's only so much I can do for those Ferelden's poor sods. I'm sure you're very broken up over it. <laughs> yeah, honestly. Uh, I meant you. Uh, folks like yourself. <clears throat> What's, what else? Did you cheat that woman? She didn't seem very happy with the deal you made. Uh, what am I supposed to do? Buy every piece of furniture these people dragged with them? You mean people like us? Of course. Uh, my apologies. My point is that I'm running a business, not a charitable order. I'm sorry. I imagine the profits help with the guilt. Okay, so I'll say, um, Athenariel sent me. I believe you owe your business partners something. Oh, I see. Mm -hmm. Should I go tell the guards? Not just yet. <laughs> Don't be I silly. I hear this. So, Athenariel sent you to collect, did she? Yes. Too cowardly to do it herself. 
Ooh. Should I should I get um what's her name? Avalyn? Avalyn. Care to step in here? Only because this toad deserves it. I like her. Oh! You have a choice. Pay, or I beat it out of you and your men. Oh, she's so cool. Stay back. Just uh, take what's in the chest. Take it all. Thank you. Now I'm getting out of here. Let those guards find someone else to buy dogland junk. Oh, do you know what? I do you know what? I like her. I like her a lot. We're gonna be we're gonna be best buds. I can I can already tell. Do it. Okay, so we've got that. We've got the items. Oh, hey there, woman. I can't talk to you. Sorry. <laughs> See you later. Let me go back and speak to you, and then I'll go to the other guy. You could have given us something more challenging. Will you look at that? Tell your uncle we'll make the arrangements. Welcome aboard. I wasn't. I was just the one. Oh. Achievement unlocked. Quest completed. Noise. Let's level up. Uh, willpower. Maybe I'll do some constitution as well for the next one. Hmm. Okay, what's this? Arcane. Elemental weapons. Mind blast. Arcane shield. Hexdome. Oh, horror. What's this? Glimpse of perilous. Um, heroic aura. Man enhanced part. Oh, okay, so for everyone. But I kind of want to do my elemental one. Get that first and then go from there. Let's do that and then this one. What did I do for you last time? I can't remember. Um, receptive, shield bash, pommel blow, bellow. Rally. Uh, okay, the warrior rallies follow almost briefly boosting. Ah, oh, that one sounds quite good. Okay. I've saved it. Lovely. So. Oh, it does a, oh, it does a form. Nice. Do I need to speak to you? So, that was your uncle, was it? Good. I thought he was another confidence man trying to sell promises. I don't suppose he has the coin you'll need to get in. He might have a way to help. He had some ideas. Hmm. They always do. They always if do. If it were just up to me, I'd let you through. But there are a lot of eyes watching, a lot of palms that need greasing. My suggestion? Wait for a ship and hope the next city hasn't already closed their doors. <laughs> That's not going to happen, but okay. Okay, so where are my family? They are here. Hello. Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? I'll speak to Athenril and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. So long as we're safe. The blight may still spread, but for now we have a new home. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. What a good start to the game. It's been fun. Thus began the champion's first year in Kirkwall. Oh, so we're only there a year. Word arrived from across the sea that the hero of Ferelden had defeated the Blight. <gasps> That's Alara. But Lothering was destroyed. Kirkwall was the champion's home now. Oh. So she remained, paying I... off her debt. Made a name for herself in the underworld. The underworld? It was a busy year in the city. That's when the Kunari landed. A great storm had caught their ship and left hundreds of warriors stranded in the city, waiting to return home. That's also when the trouble began with the mages. The Templars had become very powerful under Knight Commander Meredith. But most importantly, that's when I first met the champion. Uh-huh. Wait, I thought Lothering 
started to get rebuilt when we were when we saw and when we were doing awakening i swear that's what was happening i can't remember now <coughs> yeah i swear i swear it was getting rebuilt oh who are you are you meredith that was a walk no Andraste's tits, human. You know how many people want to hire onto this expedition? Look, we know you're going into the deep roads. You'll need to hire the best, and we're- No! You're too late. Already done. The money from this trip could fix everything. Don't be you a hater now. <laughs> we fought Darkspawn. Look, precious. I don't care if you tore the horns off an ogre with your bare hands. You make him understand. We're running from your bloody Templars. Okay, mister. It's not my fault that I was born this way. Um, I'll say this isn't helping. I know how you <coughs> feel, but we'll earn no favours with your fist in his face. Then we do nothing. As always. You don't have to hang my around with me. can be hot-headed. But we do have the skills to benefit your expedition. You're looking for a quick way out of the slums, right? You and every other Ferelden in this dump. Find another meal ticket. Well, back to waiting for someone to turn us in. <laughs> Should I be like you were no help? <laughs> I'll say you're no mage. Why worry? Yeah, like it's it's my I'm the problem. Like you, you you're a warrior. It's not it's not your problem. You can relax. After all, the Templars dogging us are mine. Did I sound that bad? Maker, I'm turning into Gamlin. <laughs> Gamlin? He's got a head for this garbage. Maybe he can talk to Bartrand. He knows some people. After last week, we need all the coin and influence we can get. Hmm. I say risky but worth checking. You catch more flies with honey. But Gamlin's bullshit could work too. Well, he did get us into the city, right? What else can we do? We got ourselves into the city. We're losing okay. ground, and I don't fancy waking up in the gallows. Give me back my stuff! Hey! Yeah, I knew you stole from me. You look sus from the get-go. I knew a guy once who could take every coin out of your pockets just by smiling at you. But you, you don't have the style to work high down, let alone the merchant. Wait, it's him! The narrator! The storyteller! You find yourself a new line of work. I mean, you already shot him. Ah, ooh. Off you go. <gasps> Eey, that, looked, that looked painful. Thanks, bud. How do you do? Beric Tethras, at your service. Beric, hello. I apologize for Bartrand. He wouldn't know an opportunity if it hit him square in the jaw. But you would. I would. What my brother doesn't realize is that we need someone like you. He would never admit it either. He's too proud. I, however, am quite practical. Interesting. Okay. Are you in the expedition? You're part of Bartrand's <coughs> venture. That's right. The deep roads wouldn't normally be my thing, but I can't allow the head of our family to go down there alone. So as you might imagine, I have more than a passing interest in this expedition's success. Interesting. Um, you know who we are. What makes you so certain we can help? You know nothing about us. Oh, on the contrary. Nah, he's You've inspiring. made quite the name for yourself over the last year. The Coterie has been squeezing smugglers out left and right, and the only group to survive owes it all to you two. The name Hawk is on many lips these days. Not well. bad for a Ferelden fresh off the boat. Oh, and what about Carver? You must have heard of my brother as well, then. A little, yes. But it is you they speak of. Oh, of course there. they do. That figures. <laughs> <laughs> your brother is certainly welcome to join us by all means, but I'll leave that in your hands. God, that's so oh, funny. I'm going. Oh? Without this expedition, we won't last out the year. True, true. Oh my god, my throat. <coughs> <coughs> um, okay, so how do we reason with him? Oh, you're a little, you're a little too smooth. 
Uh, no, it's there must be some way to persuade your brother to hire us on. Yes. We don't need another hireling. We need a partner. A partner? The truth is, Bartran's been tearing his beard out trying to fund this on his own, but he can't do it. Invest in the expedition. Fifty sovereigns and he can't refuse. Not with me there to vouch for you. Well, I, but I don't... We don't have the, the coin. Like... We're poor. It sounds interesting. But if I had any gold, I wouldn't need this job. Exactly. You need to think big. There's only a brief window after a blight when the deep roads won't be crawling with darkspawn. The treasure you find down there could set you and your family up for life. Come on. The dwarf makes some sense. No offense. Look, you started this, and it's a good idea. Certainly better than ending up in the gallows. We okay. work together, you and I, and before you know it, you'll have all the capital you need. What do you say? All right, sure. Why not? It's not like I had anything better planned. Perfect. <laughs> Kirkwell's crawling with work. You set aside some coin from every job and you'll have the money in no time. Sure. Easy. But... Maybe Aveline's got some bounties out. She joined the city guard, right? We should talk privately when you get the chance. In the hanged man, maybe. I'll be there when I'm not with you. In the hanged now, man. Now, okay. let's go see what trouble we can stir up. Ah, hot oh. town. Where the rich go to piss their money away. Codex this updated. Carver. Oh, look. Look at all these. Ooh. The hero of Ferelden. Let's read Carver's first. Okay, so a hundred ways to run and we choose backwards. Whatever you say, but chasing an old name isn't really starting over. Okay, strong and strapping. Carver is a skilled warrior set on proving himself. Although he's not always clear who he is trying to impress, the son and sibling of, maid, um, of mages. He grew up surrounded by magic he couldn't truly understand and he feels like something was expected that he could never deliver. Oh, bless him. He cares deeply for his family, but sometimes feels like the stupidest person in the room. Carver found it, um, found it in loathering. He blames his lack of direction on not wanting to draw attention to his family and apostates at home. After his father died, he started down a military path. However, the blight and row um, at Ostagar ended his career almost before it could start. Ah, oh, okay. Whilst he knows um, that swift fight was the... Sith flight was the only reasonable core in the face of Darkspawn advance. He almost would rather have stood and fought, doomed though um, doomed though the effort was, facing the horde had purpose. Something Carver has been searching for. Oh bless him. Okay. <coughs> oh my god, I've got such a dry cough. Ugh. Okay. Um Barton Okay, the history of noble house Tethras stretches back to the foundation of Orzammar. The memories say that three times, um, say that, say that three times a child of house Te um, Tethras took the office of assembly steward. They held appointments in the Shepherd of Memories and the Shepherd of Golems, but no longer. In the second year of the reign of King Edwin, um, El Elderkin? Lord Anver Tethras was found guilty before the assembly of willful manipulation provings matches in the favour of his house. For this affront of the ancestors, he and all his house were sentenced to exile on the surface. Um, Anver died a mere five years later before um, leaving behind his lady Isla, ten-year-old Bart Bartend and two-year-old Varric. Exile surface life and loss of the, her husband um, conspired against Lady Isla, who took a drink, who took to drink, leaving young Bartra and managed um, to manage what was left of Hal's Tithrus. Um, by the time he was fifteen, Byron had doubly his family fortune. The disgrace of House Tethras fueled his ambition, and his once noble title gave him an instant place amongst the Kalnus, the old money elite of the Dwarven Merchant Guild. He used it to build alliance and business ventures um, as if he were m a member of the Osmar Assembly. By the time Lady Isla died, 
Bartrand um, had made the Tethys family one of the guild's most influential, but wealth and power on the surface couldn't sate him. Ah, okay. He began to call alliances with the wealthiest um, ascended families, branching into banking and what does this say? Mercenary um, companies. Guild members muttered that nothing will satisfy Bart um, Bart Bartend. Bartend. I feel like Bartrand? I don't know. Um, but a complete recognition of the House Tethris estate in Orzammar, down to the rivals of Lava built in Kirkwall. Um, the Hero of Ferelden. The Hero of Ferelden belonged to the Circle of Magi in Ferelden and um, resided in the tower at Lake. Um, at Lake Kelhan for most of her life. First Enchanter Ivan recommended um, the hero to the Grey Warden, Commander Duncan. Oh, Duncan. Um, shortly after the hero's harrowing, Duncan recruited her into the, um, into the Order. The hero fought and killed the Archdemon and lived to tell the tale. With the Archdemon gone, the Darkspawn rank broke and the Horde was, easy, um, was easily rooted. After ending the blight, the hero of Ferelden took upon the... Um, mantle of Warden Commander and began the task of rebuilding the Order in Ferelden. Okay. Um, I know everyone in this city worth knowing. Varric was born three years after his father exile um, from Orzammar into the world of the Merchant Guild. Um, the ancestors never spoke and Paragons were the heroes in the tall tales. The number of dancers um, a Kelner lady gave um, to a lowborn ascend ascended boy were more prevail than the region of kings. Um, well, Bartrand ran the business and drove Hal's Tethras ever higher up the social ladder. Varric looked after the family and their retainers. Um, his mother, Lady Isla, suffered terrible from the trauma of her disgrace and exile, finding solace in liquor and smoke. It fell to her younger son to try to curb the worst of her drunken rages, to keep her from becoming a matter of public scandal, and to care for her when she fell ill from her excesses. Oh dear. Though he is famous throughout the Merchant Guild for his stories, Varric speaks rarely of himself or his family. Most of Kirkwall knows him. Everyone has brought him a drink at least once for the sake of his fiction rather than his family connections. Interesting. Really, he is the best place in Kirkwall. Okay. So we are officially in Kirkwall. So what's this? Were they? And Sebastian. Hmm. Oh my god, there's so much to read. Okay, Kirkwell is. Oh wait, have I read this? Maybe not. Kirkwell is built on a solid foundation of greed and human suffering, and it's unworldly in a place where everything is for sale and everyone is fair game. Um, there are many criminal empires within the city, some of which have been around since the Imperium used Kirkwall as a hub in the slave trade. Alliances, spy, manipulation, betrayal and open welfare um, is all commonplace in the never-ending struggle of power. Um, the Courtier is a, th is a um, thieves' guild that has been around for almost a century, but until, the re but, un but until recently was never a major player in the underworld. Some 20 years ago, the strong um, of the local criminal empire was an ancient guild known as the, uh, known as the Sabre, Sa what does it say? Sabrathen? Um, but its leader was betrayed from within and during the turmoil of um, Cauterin made a successful grab for power. Since then, they sunk their claws into almost every level of Kirkwall, including the city guard, the Dwarven Merchant Guild, and some of the most influential cities in the cit citizens in the city. It is safe to say that the courtier gets um, a slice of every pie. Very little goes on, on in Kirkwall that, that escapes their notice. Interesting. Oh, I can level up the boys. I can level them up. Before that, though... And the Deep Roads Expedition. Find a way to become a partner um, to get to the Deep Roads Expedition starting in a um, 
started it is a vital quest okay a new home go to gamelan in low town a friend in the guard evelyn may have information about working in the city guard okay i'm building a business discussion talk to very um in low town hangman pub okay well we need to go to low town anyway so we'll do that let me just quickly level them up first um what am i sunder the warrior strike carries weight and critical hits. yes okay so you are a rogue interesting so maybe some cunning and some decks can you open stuff okay so you do this so bursting arrows what's this pinning shot bursting arrows this arrow explodes on impact Ooh, that sounds kind of cool okay nice Not much. okay let's explore so we are in high town interesting so we got that to do and that to do The dwarf says the dark spawn are mostly gone. He'd better be right. <laughs> His voice is funny. Okay. Uh, can I talk to you? Varric, where did you get off to? And what are you planning? Mm. Bartrand, so suspicious. I have in fact brought us our future partner. What? Partner? You stupid nug-humping dirt farmer. Why did you go promising something like that? Because if we don't get this expedition moving, brother, then we won't have any profits to argue about, will we? Hmm. Maybe you have a point. Okay. I feel so welcome. <gasps> There's so much love here. <laughs> it's very comforting. What I'd love is the coin to back up my brother's confidence. How about it, human? Oh, investigate. Um, what do I get in return? Are we talking a full share here, or what? If you have the coin, sure. You'll get a full share. Interesting. Why so much that coin? That seems like a lot for an expedition. We're going lower into the deep roads than anyone's ever dared. Who knows what we'll find down there? Well, that means food and equipment and hirelings. None of that comes bloody cheap. Alright, give me some time. I'm still figuring that part out. And how about you tell me when that happens? Until then... You're not much of a partner. Relax, Bartrand. Oh. Have I ever let you down? You don't want me to answer that. I thought I was just going to say yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, there is Dwarven Merchants Guild. Let's look at that. Okay, so the Dwarven Merchants Guild, without question, the most powerful surface dwarf institu um, institution. It has become what the assembly is to the people of Orzammar, a prestigious club that everyone wants to belong to, and this, um, the surest means to obtain power and fortune. The guild's leader can always be traced their lineage back to the noble or merchant's caste house in Orzammar. The guild regulates trade between the dwarven cities and the surface, and so quietly controls the entries... Um, the entire economy of Orzammar, though the ruling king or assembly would never admit it. The guild is heavily um, conservative, but has started to get more of the um, ascendants, especially banking families, into the membership, which has caused no small amount of infighting in the guild. <gasps> oh my god! Hi! It's Bodan and Sandal. What? Bodan, Fedic, purveyor of goods, Hi. both common and rare, at your service. And this is my son, Sandal, who is as brilliant an enchanter as you'll ever find. Hi, Say Sandal. Say hello to the nice human, Sandal. Hello. <laughs> we shall be accompanying your expedition and providing the needed supplies. It's all quite exciting, isn't it? Um, I'll say I'm all a tremble. The thought of adventure does make me giddy. <laughs> <laughs> a kindred soul, surely. <laughs> but I digress. 
Do you I'm wish so to peruse glad. my wares, or perhaps make use of Sandal's unique talents? Enchantment. Enchantment. Just so. I'm literally so like I know that in Awakening they said that Bowden was alive, and you guys told me that the reason why Sandal was literally stood surrounded by dead people was because that he killed them. I honestly, I thought, <laughs> I don't know what I thought to be fair, but the fact that he literally did it was so great because I literally, I thought that Bowden had died, but he's here, he's alive, and it, and here they are, stood in front of me. Um, let's investigate. So your son is an enchanter. I thought all enchanters were mages. Not at all. The favored dwarven resistance to magic has allowed enchantment of crafts for countless ages. Granted, most dwarven smiths must work for many, many years to learn the skill. But my boy is a natural, a savant beyond compare. <laughs> I like enchantment. You're so precious. <laughs> and he enjoys his work. What more could one ask? Okay. Um, how did you end up here? You two don't seem the sort to hire onto this sort of expedition. My son and I have never played it safe. Never captured a tried and true rose. In fact, we have just returned from adventures while accompanying the hero of Ferelden, legendary Grey Warden and Vanquisher of the Blight. Good old, you know, Alara. Oh, I already miss her. I miss her so much. The fact that, obviously, I'm excited to play as Ayla, but, you know, Alara's gonna hold, like, a special place in my heart. Like, she and I went through some stuff together. So I'm gonna be like, oh, you knew um, the hero of Ferelden. So you helped to defeat the Blight? In our small way, perhaps. We did not fight at the Grey Warden's side, of course. The hero of Ferelden is a fine woman. After all her accomplishments, may she find even greater success. Bodo. Uh, but surely my past is hardly of interest to the likes of you. Um, yeah, I wish to... I don't think I have any money. Let me see. Let's see what you have. By all means. Do I even have money? my wares whenever you wish. Ah, oh, Bowden's goods. Oh, okay. Also, we actually... We actually do have stuff interesting vows of dogs from blood why do you have that are you trying to make more grey wardens uh, it's this one was it this one the Dwarven Merchant Guild. I thought we read that. Hmm. Oh yeah, by the way, I downloaded a mod, but I thought, I think I downloaded the wrong mod. It, I thought it was that I could buy backpacks um, from, I think I downloaded the wrong mod. It, well, it doesn't matter to be fair, but we have a lot of space. Um, yeah. <laughs> what can you do? Uh, but that makes my life a little bit easier. So, let's look around. Hello. No one wants to talk to me. I hope they do something about this canary soon. Oh, yeah. The canary are around here, aren't they? Interesting. Red Lantern District. You no, know, Junior, it's eerie how much resemblance there is between you two. She's my sister. Of course there's a resemblance. Oh, you thought I meant Hawk. I was talking about Gamlin. Make her I hate you, dwarf. <laughs> I like how they call me Hawk. I mean, I do have a first name, but I understand why they call me Hawk. So let's go and explore in here. And here we are in the brothel. My day is complete. <laughs> Madame Lucine runs the place for Harlan. Or with him. Or on him it's a coterie thing oh okay i don't like oh why is my that was weird i don't like those pieces they're kind of creepy 
Oh, wow. Important business. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, I agree to everything you say now. Goodbye. Ah. Oh, wow. She I is... I really ask you to wear a feather boa. All Asian, darling. You get used to it. Two meat and a dwarven ale. The merchandise is up front. Okay. Sure. I've got your usual ready and waiting for you upstairs, Sarah. Many thanks, Madam C. Oh, wow. Hello. Ferelden, are you? She looks so angry. We are not a charitable organization, Sarah. If you cannot pay, you will have to take your lonely self elsewhere. Is that clear? Uh, Two sovereigns sure? for premium service, one sovereign for standard service. Fifty silver, and someone may touch you. <laughs> Briefly. <laughs> I'm not <Briefly>? interested. <laughs> of course you aren't. Poverty <gasps> had nothing to do with your decision, I'm sure. Oh, God. Touch mommy a glass of wine. Oh, it's Gamlin! I won't mention this to your mother if you don't. Gamlin, what are you doing here? I'm so gonna tell my mom. I mean, like, oh my god, guess where your brother was? You'll never guess, and she probably will, actually. She'll be like, oh yeah, he was at the brothel. You know, Junior, you're looking at this all wrong. Whatever it is you're about to say, I'm not interested. I'm a professional younger brother. Trust me, the center of attention's the worst place to be. When things go wrong, and they always do, that's where all the fingers point. Look at any kingdom in Thetis. You've got people who warm thrones, and people nobody sees who do the real work. And my sister is a queen in this scenario. Perfect. Point? <laughs> Missing it. Oh well. Wait, where's my other staff? My other staff was cooler! You promise? I liked my other staff. It was way cooler than this one. Ah. Apostate. Okay. Well, what do I have on now then? They've got both one star, so three man staff. It's mage. Oh. Oh, wow. That's kind of cool. What's this one? Um, what about clothes? Apostate robes. Oh, the one I'm currently wearing is, is better. Smuggler's robes. Okay, no, I'll keep that on then. What about this? Oh, I don't have a belt on. Let me put that on. Um, anything else? Oh, I have the vials of dark on blood. Oh, okay, cool. Why not? Why not? So, is that... Nothing to steal? Okay. Oh, why are these- these rooms are huge. Oh, something I obviously can't open. Wait, actually, can you open it? That's not really my thing. You're a rogue! What do you mean that's not really your thing? <laughs> that is, that's not really my thing. I will not open that. I can't do that. Okay, well. Where else didn't we explore? Oh, there's a door over here. Gamlin. What are you like? There's so many doors. Hello. Why does this look really suspicious? Guess you guys don't want to talk to me. Don't mind me, I'm just taking stuff that I want. Ah, crafting. Okay, nice. Can I go through this door? Nope. There were some weird sounds coming from there. I didn't like that. No, I did not. Is this where I came from? Yes. Okay, so we're just gonna have a little explore of Kirkwall. Just a little, just explore a little bit. Ugh, oh, what is that stench? Are you talking about us? I mean, you're walking around us, so I'm guessing, I feel like she was talking about us. 
I feel like that was very rude. Oh, have I read this one? No. Okay, so at the height of the two inter imperium slaves trade, Kirk will really, um, prospect beyond the dreams of um, Avarice. Oh, the music started. Um, High Town was built for the wealthy slaves. It's um, glistily in mansions rising atop a great wall of rock borders on the side of the Waking Sea. Low Town cowed on the other side until Kirkwall slaves rose to the punder, to plunder and destroy High High Town's riches. Ooh, today High Town um, permanent buildings are the keep home of the ruling Viscount and the Chantry, home to the Grand Cleric and the city's um, religious centre. Both are covered estates um, that once house wealthy magisters rebuilt and covered, converted after the uprising. Mm. So, is that where I need to go? There's something closer up here. Maybe not. Maybe I'm going the wrong way. I I can't wait. Am I going the wrong way? Yeah, no, I lit yeah. Oh well. What is this? A friend in the guard. Oh okay. This is where what's her name is? You have to admit. We can I haven't done anything. That doesn't mean they'll continue doing nothing. I just don't understand. What do they want? Maybe nothing. Maybe Sten's there. Should we make friends with Sten again? Oh, I loved him. He was great. Viscount's Keep. Oh. Okay. Three marches. Oh my goodness. Okay, my dear Empress um, Celine, I agree. It's strange how some people view the free marshes. Um, on a map, they see the name um, emblazoned on the value south of the. Um, what does it say? Minnington River and assume it to be a nation just as um, Ferelden is. They imagine a single ruler, a single army, a commander culture, but nothing could be further from the truth. Um, Ardar's serious folk in um, Tantavale are not all like the wild revealers of Wycombe, who is turned on nothing like the self-importance traders of Kirkwall. We are many nations squashed under one name on a map because the truth won't fit inside the borders. A lovely saying I heard once, we have a prince in Starkhaven, a margrave in Ansberg, um, a tyne in Ostwick and a Viscount in Kirkwall, yet we accept no king in free marshes. At least not since um, Frias appointed himself king seven centuries ago, which was um, immediately and anonymously opposed by our many great nations. We may only come together to face a common enemy, but we do. But when we do, we're from all um, ragtan bunch. Did you know that the that Grey Warden? Gail Hell, um, Gaha, Ga I don't know how to say that. Gahel? I don't know. God, I butcher these names all the time. Also united us during their exalted age. We marched together proudly to defend the, do um, to defeat the Darkspawn at a Ale's site and immediately afterwards returned to our petty bickering. Um, the most important thing to know about the free marshes is that we're free. We determine our own destiny and, the pl and, and that pleases us. Beyond that, the only other time that we um, cloister is when Grand Tony comes to town. Then we boldly express our pride to any foreigner who will listen. We'll kiss, free we'll kiss freedom on the lips and um, even lock arms with a proud Stark Starkhaven. Alas, it lasts only a day, but there's no harm in that, right? I don't know, is there? Is there any harm in that? How much longer do I have to wait? Forever, it seems. Oh my god, there's literally so much to read. Um, 
Jesus. It is no simple matter. Safeguards or ordinary men from mages and mages from themselves. Each circle tower must have some measure of self-government for it to ever... Um, for it is the ever maker's will that men be given the power to take responsibility for our own actions, to a sin and fall, as we are to achieve the higher grace and glory on our own strength. You who um, will be tasked with no protection of the circle must be aware of its workings. The first enchanter is the heart of the, any tower. He will determine, of course, his circle will take. Um, he will determine the course his circle will take. He will choose when apprentices may be tested and made full mages, and you will work mostly closely with him. Um, assisting the first enchanter will be the senior enchanter, a small council of the most trusted and experienced magi in the tower. From this group, the the next first enchanter is always chosen. Beneath the council are the um, en enhanced enchanters oh my god i could not read that then these are the teachers and the mentors of the tower you must get to know them in order to keep your fingers and on the poles of the circle and the enchanters will always know what it happens amongst those ch amongst the children those who have passed the harrowing but have not taken apprentices are mages this is where the most trouble in a circle lies in the illness and the inexperience of youth the untested apprentices are the most numerous um Den denies, I don't know, of any tower, but they most often pose threats to themselves due to their lack of training. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Well, I'm gonna go now. What are you gonna do about it? What is up there? Oh. Is it this way? It's my own fault for not bringing something to do. Just let me know if you need anything. If you need anything. Oh, hi! There you are! Hey, buddy! Wait, are you a Templar now? Aveline! Oh. Hello, Hawk. Oh. That's it. What? Oh, right. Sorry. It feels like we just talked. I've been keeping an eye on you. Information is one of the few perks of this job. Watch out for Bartrand. He's a son of a bitch. She doesn't seem very happy to see us. Oh dear, what did we do? Um, you were spying on me you again? You know I don't like it when you have people watch me. Saved me camping on your doorstep. After what we went through to get here, uh, well, you're no child, but I take care of my friends. The places they have me patrolling, I've got time. All right, okay. Well, the way you started out, that like, you did not seem very happy to see us, and now you're saying that we're friends. Okay. Um. So you're not happy as a guard. Still having trouble. I thought you were past all that. Lately, I don't know. I've been pushed out to some dead patrols. Maybe I stepped on someone's toes. What did you, you do? You can be forceful. My charm, right? I should be able to go where I'm needed. In fact, I might have a job for you. Let me know if you want to do a favor for Kirkwall. Otherwise, I'm here if you need me. Maker knows I could use more satisfying work. Hmm, investigate. Are you happy here? Seems like Kirkwall suits you. It has been a challenge. Lots of opportunity. If you're the type the locals want. Are you? If you argue enough, you kind of convince yourself. <sighs> I mean, me saying this, obviously she misses her husband. It's been a year settling in. Are you all right? You don't need to coddle me. I am where I am. How close I hold my memories is my own business. Alright, 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 you know, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just making sure my friend's okay. Um, do you miss being a soldier? This must be a very different pace from serving King Kaelin. Mm. It's just one more change, though. The real end for me was Ostagar. What about you, Carver? You were there. Do you feel something similar? Oh. No. <laughs> alright then. No. Bit of a tit, your brother. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Okay, so what's the job? All right, Aveline. You have something worth doing? My patrols may be empty walks in the dark, but there's something big coming up, and I could use you. An ambush, probably for a caravan, although I can't find any shipments that match up. Doesn't matter, though. I women waiting for someone to rob. I'm putting a stop to it, my district or not. You're my friend. Okay, yeah, sure. I'm with you. All right, Evelyn. I'll play guard for you. I knew I could count on you. They're hidden up Sundermount, remote and rough, but we can make good time with a shortcut this side. And no, you can't run off and do it without me. I trust you, but I have to be there. Okay. You're acting on behalf of the guard. Oh. Okay, Codex updated. Didn't we already have her? I mean, okay. Um, if it's family you protect, doesn't matter who it is, blood or not. Ooh, I like that sentence. Uh, Evelyn was born in Orlais, but she never um, knew the country. Her father, Benoit du Lac, oh my god, um, was a chivalrous who lost his patron on the game of intrigue he fled um to Ferelden whilst Evelyn was an infant and though his holdings were meager he determined she would have the life he had lost she would become a knight no matter the cost he eventually sold everything to sponsor Evelyn into King Caelan's service oh my god that's so cute um knightly skills seemed bred into um Evelyn's bones but she had but she had her doubts, starting with her namesake, Sir Avalyn. The first female knight of Alais was orphaned, mocked for her looks, and... Um... Oh. Sir Avalyn was the first knight of... Of Orlais, was orphaned, mocked of her looks, and murdered when she dared to stand in men in torment. Oh, her glory lies in tragedy, but she lives. Um, but the living Evelyn doesn't reverse sacrifice. A principal death is still death. Her father was proud of her, but she would never be the knight he wished for. Evelyn married Wesley Va Valen while serving in Ferelden army. They were kindred spirits and determined guardians. His death during the blight scared her, not just for his lo not just his loss, but the. But that she failed to protect him. Evelyn was healed in the past year, but she has not yet forgiven herself according accordingly. She is fiercely protective of Ah oh, of the Hawks and Ayla. That's so cute. They share a bond in loss, a connection she cherished but will not allow to be repeated. I like that. So we are friends. Okay. Okay. I can take that. We can be friends. We can be buddies. Not going to happen. Okay. Hope the day is treating you well, Sarah. What's through here? Anything to steal? Nope. All right, all right, guys. Anything to steal? Oh, maybe. Nope. Well, I, I may maybe. Can you do it? Please, a kid. <gasps> oh, you can. Good for you. Love it. It was a piece of cake. Okay. Sorry guys, there's a lot of reading in this episode, but I will try and do reading at the beginning and ends of episode, but this, we've just started, so I'm just trying to get my bearings. Okay, so the Kirkwall City Guard. Um, it is with pride that I, the um, Yorvan, can grant the authority of law and civil enforcement upon the guardsmen of the independent Kirkwall. Um, no more will defer to the will of foreign troops or draw holy order in tasks unbefitting their um, mandate. These proud men and women will be um, of the people and will force law we have elected for the, um, the civil order and order society. They should spectre on uh, invasion return. The noble guardsmen will conscript um, from the population who for who better to amass the people's will than the count countable of law charged with its um, inspection. This is a great day, um, fair Kirkwall, and I am honoured to appoint the first guard captain. Long may serve the will of free people. <laughs> Long may serve the will of free people. Okay. Sure. So... How much longer do I have to wait? 
That is... What's her name's? Vicant Fy Dermot's office. Should we Miss explore Air, please the whole stop area? Kicking the wall. Who are you to talk to me like that, you bloody peasant? The guard who will throw you out if you kick that wall one more time. Damn. Can't believe we just called him a peasant. Who are you? The office of the Viscount is not open to the public. Especially recent arrivals not actually part of the public. I can literally open the door if I wanted to, pal. Or maybe- no, I actually can't. I lied. I was looking at the wrong door. I mean, I can steal from them. What's this? Oh. I don't think I can do that. Gu guys, guys. Uh, okay, the Enigma of Kirkwall. The Van Count is suspicious, but the bribe was sufficient to gain access to the restricted section of the ar archives. The money would be would have been better spent elsewhere, the archives being almost devoid of Imperium era records. The slaves revolted, um, they hunted magisters and burned the city at the at li at, l l l l l at least the part that could be burned. One account says that the streets were littered with piles of scrolls and books set aflame. Um, is our quest futile? Did the slaves destroy the answer? As Melfrith, um armies tr toppled the Imperium, they sent three magisters and their legions here. They never arrived, but they march here of all pl but why march here of all places? What were they coming here for? Oh, so many questions. Can you unlock this? I pr I'm hoping. You want me to do what? Uh, I don't think so. Well, I tried. Good day, Sarah. Good day. Um, okay, the Lumarine accounts? 50 years. That's how long it took the Imperium to drive out the Quinari occupation. But the rest, Northern Theodos, um, was not so lucky. Oh, too far. Um, both divines, white and black, declared exalted marches for the only times since the sch schisms of the Chantry. They worked together. A century-long siege resulted with the giant Quinari um, enchanted in Antiva and Rivian, Rivain, um, and all the theaters throwing armies against them. The war drained the resources for every nation in Theodos, leaving most of the brink of uh, leaving most on the brink of collapse. For the giant, it did not appear to be the damage um, did not appear to be the damage of their armada or the loss of their soldiers, but the terrible toll upon the Riviani population and the prospect their retreat. When the third new alerted march had all but massacred the people of Con. Uh, Cont are without even chipping the Quinari occupying force, the giant finally withdrew. Um, the treaty that put an official end to the Quinari War was signed on the politically neutral island for I don't know how to say that, whatever that says, off the southern coast of Ruvain. 150 years after the assault of the mainland began, the Quinari left the sh our shores. They received the northern I well, something in exchange for assassination of hostility against the nation on the accord, only to Vinter refuse to sign, and so the war continued to rage in the Imperium to the, the present day. Um it's worth noting, however, that the, that the Kingdom of Ravain immediately violated the treaty twice once whether humans of Northern Rivian, nearly all um, practitioners of the Quan, and therefore are therefore um, by definition Quanari, refused to leave their homes and go into exile to the island. And again, when the Rivian Chantry and Nationalist forces, unable to convert its people back to the worship of the Maker, tried a tried a purge by sword, slaughtering countless unarmed people and bear. Oh wow, burying them in mass graves. It's a fortune mystery that the leaders of Kant and or Kant, I don't know, whatever that says, 
um, did not alert their allies in the northern passages or would still be fighting the giants now. So what is over here then? It is a door leading somewhere. Ow! Parchment cut. Oh dear. Oh my, oh my God. Okay, I'm not reading that. That is so, there's, there's so much to read. I think my brain's actually getting to a point where. How much longer do I have to wait? Don't know. That is, there's so much to read. Do you know what I liked when we played Golems of Am Amgarok and it read some of the stuff out for me? That was a beautiful moment. Oh, get her on my party. Ooh, okay. Cool. World map. This, oh, this is cool. Gamelin's house. Interesting. How do I go there? I have to go to Lowtown. Well, I need to go to Lowdown anyway. Wait, what's this? Oh! Oh. <laughs> oh. Wait, so I can do it at night? This is cool. This is really cool. Okay, well, I need to go to Lowtown. So let's go to Lowtown. Actually, let me finish exploring Hightown first. We haven't actually explored all of it yet, so we'll finish exploring that and then we'll go to Lowtown. Oh, hello. Hawk, long time no see, my friend. Hey, bud. Well, if it isn't worthy, the dwarf with the incredibly ironic name. <laughs> <laughs> I only advertise the truth. Oh, wow, what lovely you eyes. You aren't still working for a Thenroll, are you? Your year must be up by now. Um, I'll say I'm funding an expedition. I'm looking to become an explorer of a sort. I heard. Bartrand's hard to take. It literally just happened. But his information is usually good. <laughs> hard to take? That's putting it mildly. I'll tell you what. I still have my old contacts. You need some rune crafting done, I can arrange it for you. Oh, thank you. Take care, Hawk. Don't get dead. Don't get dead. Thanks, pal. Do you do anything? Am I the next stop in your career evaluations? Joy of joys. You watch and you talk. Is that it? We'll do the Sebastian thing You are next. dismissing hallmarks of both the utterly ineffectual and the incredibly dangerous. I don't know what you mean. It means coins flow when I talk and when I shut up. Like if you got paid to guard or unguard. That makes no sense. Good. <laughs> that makes no sense. Okay, so... Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Ah, uh, me and maps. You off soon. Is it over here? Have I gone the wrong way again? I, I honestly, I, I cannot read a map. I'm going the right way. <laughs> God, I really can't read a map. Taffy? Taffy, here you go. Taffy? Sebastian. Oh. Stop this madness. Hello, the Chantry cannot condone revenge, Sebastian. It is my right, my duty, to show these assassins there is nowhere in the free marches to hide. This is murder. I like his accent. Oh. No. What happened to my family was murder. He wants vengeance! Give the man vengeance! Okay, a crime was committed against all um, all free-thinking men and women in the Free Marshes. The ruling Vale family in Starkhaven, my family, was brutally murdered down to the youngest babe in arms. 
That's awful. This massacre was carried out by the member of the Flint Mercenary Company. Um, I hereby offer a bounty on the head of each Flint Company soldier in the Kirkwall vicinity. Do I accept? Let's <laughs> just accept it. Why not? Oh, hello. And Andraste did say, those who harm a house of the Maker have done harm unto the Maker himself. Ugh. Wow. <clears throat> okay. That was beautiful. Truly. Oh, a chest. Can I open you? Yes, I can. Wonderful. Is there a chest over here? Please say yes. <gasps> no, there wasn't. I'm sad now. I like the robes. They are an upgrade from Origins, I must say. Oh, look at that door. Ooh, now that is a, that is a door right there. Did you approve my application? I can't make you a guard, Carver. We were both soldiers. Oh, you want to be a guard? Why won't they take me? Ooh. I was an officer, and I follow orders. No, you don't. I also think of others before myself. You seem tired of that, and that's dangerous. Damn. Just when it's not my choice. You told them not to take me, didn't you? Yes. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, there's nothing in here. That is very awkward. Okay, um, the commandments of the Maker. Um, these truths of the Maker have been revealed to me. Um, as there is but one world, one life, one death, there is but one God, and He is our Maker. They are sinners um, who have given their love to a false God. Magics exist to serve man and never to rule over him. Ugh. I, ha I hate that sentence. I hate that sentence. Like, that, it's just, oh, oh, it just boils my blood, it does. Um, a foul and corruption they are who have taken his gift and turned in against his children. They shall be named Maleficar, accused ones. They shall find no rest in this world or beyond. All men are the work. Um, all men are the work of our Maker's hands. For the lowest slaves to the highest knights, those who bring harm without provocation to the least of his children are hated and accused by the Maker. Those who bear false witness and work to deceive others know this: there is but one truth. All things are known to our Maker, and He shall judge their lies. All things in this world are finite. One. Um, what, what one man gains, another has lost. Those who steal from their brothers and sisters do harm to their livelihood and their peace of mind. Our maker sees this with heavy heart. I shall not be left to wander the drifting roads of the Fade, for there is no... There is no... You're doing great, oh, hon. Maker, why can't I remember how it goes? Andraste, the uh, Bride of the Maker. See, we already know this. Um, I am not reading this again because honestly, it actually hurt my feelings how she was treated. It was, it was just awful. It was actually just awful. So I'm not reading it. What does that say? Locks of golden balls. Oh, okay. Uh, there is a door here. Where does it lead? Um, the founding of the Chantry. The founding of the Chantry. Someone, Draken, king of the city-state of Orlais, was a man of uncomfortable um, common abilities. In the year 15 ancient, the young king began construction of a great um, temple dedicated to the maker and declared that by its compl completion um, he would not only have united the warrior city-states of the south, he would have brought Andraste's belief to the world. In three ancient, the temple was com um, the temple was completed. There in its heart, Draco knelt um, 
now before the eternal flame of a draft state and was crowned ruler of the empire of Orlais. His first act as emperor to declare the Chantry as the um, established and Drastian religion of the empire. It took three years and several hundred votes before Orlesa Ol of Mon Monsimand uh, was elected to lead the new Chantry. Upon her coronation as divine, she took the name Justitian, um, Justinia, in honor to of the disciple who recorded Andraste's song in the moment the ancient era ended and the divine age began. What's this? Where is it? It's gone now. The history of Chantry chapter one. Oh my god, look how long that is. Okay, so the first by devastated the Tevinter Imperium. Not only had the Darkspawn ravaged the countryside, but Tevinter citizens had faced the face um, has faced had to face the face of their own god, had turned against them. Durma, the old god, once known as the Dragon of Silence, had risen in silence um, to silence the world, despite the frenzied pleas of hell. Um, the old gods did nothing. The people of the Imperium began to question their faith, um, murdering priests and burning temples. Oh my god, to punish their god for not returning hell. Jesus. In those days, even after the destruction of the first blight, the Imperium stretched across the known world. Fringed with barbarian tribes, the Imperium was well prepared for invasion and attacks from without. From yeah um fitting then that the story of its downfall began from within the people of the far northern um, and eastern reaches of the imperium rose up against their powerful overlords in rebellion the divinity majesty summoned demons to put down these small rebellions leaving corpses to burn as example as um to all who would dare revolt the period began to tear itself apart from within um, thugs and angry, um, delusional citizens doing what centuries of opposing armies could not. But the Magister was confident in their power and they could not imagine surviving a blight only to be destroyed by its own subjects. Oof. Even after the Bide of Inter, um, commanded an army larger than, um, larger that, than that one of, um, other organised nations in theatres. But the only, but the, but that army was scattered and its moral dwindling. The ruins of Adventure were such that the Alamari barbarians, who had spread their clans and hold over the wildness of the Ferelden Valley at the far southern edge of the Imperium, saw weakness in their enemy and after an age of oppression, embarked on a campaign not only to free their own lands, but to bring down the mighty Adventure as well. The leader of um, that blessed campaign were the great barbarian warlock um, Melfreth and his wife Andres. Their dreams um, and ambitions would change the world forever. Oh, wait, I've read all this. Do I have to press this? Will that help? There we go. Let's go downstairs. Oh, hello. Oh, what's this? Um, the summaries of divine R Renata first. Weakness of moral will is the great feeling of all the maker's children. We trade our honour as if it were the cheapest of currency. We do not understand what integrity is or what it truly is worth. For this ignorance, original sin was born. At some time, each of us has thought, what does it matter if I keep hold of my integrity? Am I but one mortal? I am powerless. How blind are we all? We, how blind we all are? virtue of a single slave destroyed the Tevinter Imperium. The dishonor of one man drove the Maker from our sight. I tell you, truly, nothing but the integrity of our heart will win the love of the Maker back to us. It is, um, it is all the power we shall ever possess to change the world for good or ill. I like that, that literally one person can change it all. Let's say that we've got that. Okay, let me... Oh my god, the Maker. I'm gonna do this and then I'm gonna speak to her. Jesus. 
Oh, it's a poem. Why is everything so long? There's literally paragraphs and paragraphs and par- It's actually ridiculous how much writing there is. Okay, um, there was no word for the heaven of the earth, for sea or sky. All that exists was silence. Then the voice of the maker rang out the first world and his world became all that might be. Dream it an idea, hope and fear, endless possibilities. And for this, um, and from it made his firstborn. And they said to them, in my image, I forge you. To you, I give domination over all existence. By your will, many, uh, may all things be done. Then came the center of Haven. Haven? Yeah. Um, he called forth a city with a power of gold, streets and music of cobblestones, and banners which flew without wind. There he dwindled, waiting to see the wonders his children would create. Um, the children of the Maker gathered before his golden throne and sang home and praise un unending, but their songs were the songs of cobblestones. They shone with the golden light reflected from the Maker's throne. They held the forth and banners. They flew on their own. And the voice of the maker um, shook the fade saying, in my image, I have wrought my first, oh, I've wrought my firstborn. You have been given domina domination over all existence, but your will, um, by your will, all things are done, yet you do nothing. The realm is, um, the realm I have given you is formless, ever changing. And he knew he had wrought amiss and the maker turned from his firstborn and took from the fade. Oof. the measure of its living flesh the place uh, and place it apart from the spirit and spoke to it saying here i decree opposition of all things for earth sky for winter summer for darkness lie by my will along is balance surrendered and the world giving a new life um and no longer was it formless ever changing but held fast um immu immutable with words of he heaven and for earth, seen sky, at last did the maker from the living world make men mutable and the substance of the earth with souls made of dreams and ideas, hopes and fears, endless possibilities. Um, then the maker said to you, my second born, I grant this gift. In your heart shall burn an unquenchable flame, all consuming and never satisfying. From the fate I crafted you and from the fame you shall return each night in dreams. You may... Um, always be re you may always remember me and then the maker sealed the gates of the golden city and there he dwindled waiting to see the wonders his children would create hello i'm sorry you <laughs> had to witness that disgraceful scene by the oh, chanter's board what with sebastian i am elthina mm. grand cleric of kirkwall sebastian's elthina. normally a good lad but he's had a terrible shock Oh, um, who is he? Sebastian. Mm -hmm. Was that his name? Sebastian Vale. He was affirmed here nearly a decade ago. He had just been invested as a brother when we got the news about his family. Oh, being absolutely I'm afraid massacred. he reacted rashly, denied his vows and left the Chantry. Rashly? His family got if slaughtered. If the maker wills it, he will return to himself before it's too late. But what do you mean he acted rashly? His family was slaughtered. Come on. So he's a brother. So he's some kind of priest. He is an initiate of the faith. As a man, he cannot serve as a mother would. But he has led the chant here many times. Before last week, I would have said he was the most faithful of our true believers. So he said someone murdered his family. Yeah. Sebastian is the youngest son of the ruling family of Starkhaven. They were overthrown recently. Violently. Sebastian is the only surviving member. Yeah, so you don't really blame him for being a hater. Ruling He's family? He's royalty. Mm. Prince Sebastian Vale. If he succeeds in his pledge to take back his lands. He made a vow to the Maker to put worldly concerns behind him. It is a sin to forswear himself for a mere title. I don't think it's about the title, Han. I think it's about the fact that his family were robbed, slaughtered, and basically just absolutely violated. Do you know what I mean? Like, it, I don't feel like it's the fact that, oh, he wants to be, like, you know, I don't think he wants to rule. I think it's about reclaiming his honor and his title. 
Like, if your entire family got absolutely slaughtered, you would be a hater. It's, it makes complete sense. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna help him. I think his family deserves to be avenged. I think so. Sebastian would spend his coin to buy men's lives. The same as those who attacked his family. I don't No family. matter how justified he feels, that is murder. Eh. And when he returns, I will tell him so again. Whatever. Your family obviously wasn't slaughtered. Codex updated. I've done that. Yes, he's yes. Yeah, like, honestly, like, come on, woman. Like, your family obviously hadn't been slaughtered the way his, his children. was. The orphan Ferelden's ran off again after we fed them. I wish they'd let us help them. It'd be better than scraping by on the streets of Darktown. Dear me, are you here to make a donation? We can always use the help. Those Canari are a frightening sort. Demons, the whole lot of them. I do wish the Viscount would have them run off. I mean, they don't seem to be hurting anyone right now. But that's right now. Okay, so we'll go here for now. Yes, yes, yes. Has it saved? Interesting. Okay, so it has been quick save. Okay, I, I've been pressing quick save, but I've not seen it actually do it. Okay. Well, guys, on that note, the video is going to be coming to an end. Oh my goodness. I've had literally such a blast. So we've literally begun Dragon Age 2 now. So we are playing as... Ayla. I was going to say Alara. Oh my god, I need to stop. Maybe I should have made their name so similar. That's my bad. But we're playing as Ayla. So the beginning, the events were happening at the same time as Dragon Age Origins. To be fair, I don't know what I was really expecting, but I didn't expect that. That is for sure. And I actually really like that. I really like it. I think it's great. I like that we met Flemeth. Flemeth looks so cool. Sad about Bethany. But I'm guessing there can't, there can't be two mages. No, no, no. So that was unfortunate. But, you know, it, it had to happen. That was our origin. But we are now in Kirkwall and we've been there for a year now. So we've got some new companions. I've, I'm not going to lie, I forget their names already. Yeah, they're, they're, they're not there. All I remember is my brother Carver. That is it. And Varric? Was it Varric? I think it was Varric. And the woman. The woman, I can't remember her name. But yeah, so we're leaving it now. We're gonna we're gonna end it here. I feel like we've been playing for a while and I just I, I'm really excited. There's obviously been a lot of reading. What I'm gonna do is because when I read it, it comes up anyway on the codex and I haven't read it. I'm just gonna press it. And I'm just gonna obviously this was the first episode, so I was just getting used to everything. But what I'm gonna do is um like what i did with origins i'm going to read a little bit at the beginning a little bit at the end and we're just going to do it that way so we don't get overwhelmed by all the codexes because there's a lot to read so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode if you did don't forget to give a little cheeky like let me know in the comments down below what you thought and i'll see you all soon guys bye